Just underway first quarter, 10.35 left here in the opening frame. Last home game for the Rangers against the Vernon Lions looking to get in the playoff picture. A loss tonight would erase them for the season. Here's McAllen with a pitch going left. This is a big gainer as he goes for a first down yardage and more. Past the 45, up to the 48-yard line is the big bruising back Brent McAllen, 5'9", 170. The sophomore fullback gets the load, and he carries it close to midfield. That's enough for the season. a Vernon first down. 13 yards pitch, on the carry for left. McAllen this as he gets underway gainer, and gets the first first down. The ball for game. First down yard. First and ten and Lions more. now on the left side Pass hash the mark as it's just on the outskirts the of the round insignia of the Ranger with the, the looping rope in the center back. of the field. Brent ten Rangers minutes. Losing three on first down, short gain on second, and then a two yard scramble with the quarterback all red being flushed on the third down play. And this will probably be a pooch punt. They're going to show an offensive look to try to get Vernon out of whack. Vernon does have a receiver down, and Allred tries to go with a hard count. They're going to go for it on fourth down from the three-yard line, and Lemunion is overthrown. He went Vernon inside the field a just a little bit too far, and, and then tried to Allred jump really, to really high as that ball was a count. wounded duck. And They're going to go for it on Lemunion fourth could down get from to the three-yard line, will be turned and over on downs is at overthrown. The 31 he yard went line. inside well, the Fog in the air, interrupting our internet signal tonight. We apologize. Haven't missed anything. Vernon runs the football and gets tackled. It's now second down goal to go after that first down uh, hard count uh, achieved by the Lions just a little bit ago. Second down goal from the five. McCallan gets a push from his offensive line, breaks out of his would-be tacklers. It goes in for the score. Vernon with their second touchdown of the ball game. They lead it 13 to nothing with 419 left to go here in the first quarter. And they've got Perryton on their heels. line breaks. Perryton just not able to come up with an answer for that big tailback. Well, we heard... Uh, in the pregame show that Coach Flowers was talking about Vernon being a predominantly run team and they would they would have that solution and he knew that Vernon was gonna have a significant ground game and they've sure showed it here in the early going as they've just pounded the ball down the field. Field goal PAT is good. Vernon leads it 14 to nothing with 419 left to go in the first quarter. We're back in one minute on 98.3 KX DJ. Welcome back, everybody. Bill Bob Thresh, Brad Herring at Ranger Field. Rangers off to a slippery slope here to start things off. Kickoff goes to Ottinger. He's up to the 30, 35, forward up to the 40, and tackled at the 42-yard line, and Perryton will have good field position as they start off this fact. They, the Rangers, were called for the off, for the offside and now or for the uh, false start. And now Perryton is able to rebound a little bit, gaining six on that last play. Here's the first pass completion of the ball game. Over to Rigdon. It's caught at the 35 and brought down there. So Perryton's on the move now as they break from the 35, 40 yard line and now into Vernon territory. First down. Here's the first pass 35. completion of the ball game. And his momentum carried him by the ability to refocus and try to bring that tip drill ball in. Here's Allred on third down 10. He's going to be flushed. Looks downfield. He'll take it and run. Close to the first down marker, and he is out of bounds. 13 yards on the carry for Hadley Allred, and that's another Perryton Ranger first down. 2.33 so to start here tonight, and fourth down and four will give a look like uh, the Rangers are going to go for it, and they will. Here's Allred, fakes the handoff to Ottinger, throws the pass high, and it's picked off by Villalobos at the five-yard line. The run back at the 10 to the 15, and now brought down at the 24-yard line. So as good as a punt, but here's Allred, the fakes the handoff to Ottinger, throws the pass off tonight, high, Allred and it's picked it off by Villalobos at the five-yard line. Down and 10 the Lions run back at the, the 10. In to the 15, the 25, and now and brought down at the 24. That, those may have been uh, practice balls for all I know, but they were uh, a little bit slippery. Here's Villa Lobos. He stopped in the backfield. Great play uh, by Braden Lane, 6'3", uh, 208, who came back know, in the backfield and read Villa Lobos' uh, mail and spun him around. Here's no Villa Lobos. He stopped in the back. Field. 23 the seconds have a chance to score, but they come up empty-handed once again. Vernon has scored on their two possessions. Here's the Lions under center with the quarterback calling out the signals. The handoff goes to the back. Fumble, Fumble on the play, and Rigdon may have 
covered it up, and he does. It's going to be Perryton's yeah. ball as McCallum oh, drops it on the turf. The and the first the turnover of the ball game for the, the Rangers is scooped Baltimore. up by Dalton Rigdon. It's McCallum, the running back, the sophomore running back, who coughs it up. And the Rangers will have the ball inside of Vernon territory at the Vernon 49. It's Welding Electric, also members of the Booster Club, and they, they're the reason we're on the air tonight. We thank them. Here's a play action pass by Allred. Nice pass. Jace Newcomb reels it in at the 29 and goes out of bounds. And now a couple of completions have Allred throwing the ball much better. That one here's the tightest spiral play in the most form pass that I've seen by Allred. Have nice this early pass. Going. And that one was a Jace pass Newcomb, Newcomb reels it in and down at the 29 yard line. Here's the Rangers on first down. They will allow late Sign-ups over the weekend at the Perryton Activity Center. Pass is complete to Rigdon, to the 10, to the 5. He's pushed out of bounds at the 4-yard line. Yeah, Dalton Rigdon's knocking on the door for a Perryton touchdown. Nice pass from Headley already. First down. Center. Pass first down. is complete <laughs> to Rigdon. Don't get us all excited like that. You get a touchdown. You get a first down five. if you get a touchdown, but He's you don't get a touchdown. He's pushed out of bounds right. at okay. the 4-yard First down and yard. 6 after the 4-yard carry. Fumble on the play and the quarterback may have lost it again, and he did, and Perryton has the ball. How about that, sports fans? Hey, hey, hey. And who's the man? Yeah. Gustavo. And go ahead. Navarrete. Navarrete jumps on the ball. It looked like 74. Carry. Gustavo Navarrete, 5'10", 254. And was he, when he's going for the chicken legs on the plate or the last day or even the football, again. you just don't want to get in his way, Brad. No, sir. No. No, stay out of his way. He's a big fella up front, and he gets himself and his team a big fumble recovery at the Vernon 29-yard line. So back-to-back -back turnovers, and there's that slippery ball again. I didn't go over and touch Vernon's uh, footballs prior to the game, but I did uh, touch uh, Perryton's. This one is a low snap, and Allred is able to control it. He's going to get the pass off, and it's going to be picked off by Villa Lobos, who stepped in front of the receiver, Rigdon, and just came and jumped the route. Ay, 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 I saw it happen in real time. Over yeah, just right back. Vernon's Allred uh, had to flush because of the low snap. The ball the was game, on the ground. He I picked did, it up. He uh, saw Rigdon wide open, but Villa Lobos and speed one is suckered him in to throw in that all to Rigdon, and, and, and it was about a 30-yard pass He's play, gonna get the and pass Rigdon stood there and, and waited for the ball, and Villa Lobos stepped in front of him and said, Villa Lobos, and he ran the ball back to the 31-yard line the after picking it off at around the 10. Just a, a play. 4.05 left to go here in the second quarter. Ball on the right side hash as Perryton in the all red uniforms moves from left to right. Here's Torres with a big gain. He goes past the 30 to the 35 and up to the 37, Five maybe the 38, and that's going to be close to a first down. Needed to right get to side about the uh, 38 and a half Perryton yard line. This will bring up a red third down and about a half yard needed. To right. spot Here's the Torres call with for the, the big measurement, gain. And they make it. He goes on past the, the call. The official. The third down the line. So that's good to enough. The Give him the first. 37. First Man. and 10. Shotgun look. Two wideouts down to either side as they change the formation. Fakes the handoff. Throws to Ottinger. It's complete at midfield. Forward to the 45. Inside of Vernon territory. And that's going to move the chain. Look, that's good enough for a raging red ranger. The first down. the formation. Fakes the handoff. Gain of 12 on the play Ottinger. on the pass and catch to it's all red to Ottinger. At midfield. And now the gain of 12 on the play on the pass and catch to all red to Ottinger. And now the snap is bobbled and possibly turned over, and Vernon will get the ball. Ay, ay, ay. Welcome back, everybody. Brad saying, hey, hey, stop him here on fourth down and four. Pitch play McCallan, stop behind the line, and he is at the 31-yard line. Fourth How about that, sports fans? The pitch play defensive McCallan efforts of Kate stop Somerville behind the line. turned the ball over on and downs, and the Vernon Lions drive is stymied. It'll be first and ten. The, the wetness of the football is a factor by both teams, and here's Another look for Allred as he's going to run the draw play. Here's Somerville on the draw up to the 35. It's uh, 
run after contact for the Perryton running back, Caden Somerville, who bounces off of a would-be tackler and takes the ball upfield to the 47-yard line. Somerville with a quick hit. 18 seconds on the clock. It's the first down. Doesn't stop the clock for long. Run Here's the Vernon Lions from the left side hash mark, moving from left to right with a stacked-in set with two backs, and they'll give it to... Villa Lobos and the Rangers are swiftly up on defense with a tackle behind the line of scrimmage once again to start the ball game off. That's Colton Juarez with Third down the opening and 11 time. coming up from the 49 yard line in Vernon territory. 8.33 left to go here. This opening drive for Vernon has already amassed three minutes and 32 seconds, but they're just to midfield. Here's the passing play and the quarterback scrambles. Here comes Sean Walton and he sacks him. <laughs> Ghouls and goblins on Halloween night for the Vernon quarterback as he's down at the 46. The Sean Walton showing some speed. Scrambles. And this is a fourth Here down and 15 Sean now Walton after the sack by the Perryton defense. Ah, First down ah, 10 Perryton from the left side hash mark at their own 35. Midway through the first quarter now. Six minutes on the clock. 14 to 3 Vernon here in the third quarter. They haven't scored since the first frame. Here's a run option, and Somerville gets around the side on the right side, and the little spark plug goes for the 45, maybe the 47-yard line. It's a gain of 12 for Caden Somerville. The linebacker basically came through on, on that rush untouched, and so he was immediately having to run. Here's a pass to Rigdon that's connected to at the On 45, up to the 40, and past the 35-yard line as so Dalton Rigdon, as they make that pass and catch combo run. good into Here's Vernon territory now. Rigdon First down 10, 10 connected to left side the hash mark from the 34, all red, with a one-back set. Somerville dots the eye in the eye formation, motion from top to bottom. That's Ottinger who runs down to the bottom to make three wide receivers to that side, and Somerville runs the football, bounces off of a would-be tackler at the 30, now to the 25, and is stood up and just won't go down and fights to the 20-yard line. Ottinger who runs what a down great Somerville run. to make three what a wide great run. receivers to just that side, and Somerville pushing and pushing, runs never letting his football, legs stop. Bounces That's off actually of Taurus there, my bad. Now to the, the 25 and stood up and just won't Henry go down with the run. and now the fight. Here's a 38-yard field goal from the place kicker, Lewis Torres, from the left side hash mark. This would be a big field goal. Snap is good. The hold is good. The kick is solid. It's up and it is no short. good. Just a little short. Oh, my. I thought it had distance, but it the fell The center right. in between the hash marks. Buckle up on defense and pack in the box. Oh, the defense says, oh, no, you didn't. And they sack the running play before it ever gets underway. And McCallan goes backwards Buckle and flips the ball out after the push by the defenders. In the box. And the big push was oh, by Braden Lane, big number 66. Oh, no, you didn't. Loss of a yard on the play. And they Second down sack and 11 the running the 52 play left before here in the third it ever gets 14 to three Vernon as we play in the third. McCallan. Will be spotted on the right side hash just inside the five. They break the huddle with one wide receiver coming out here wide left. That's Darren White, the only wide receiver in the pattern. Two backs in the wing T formation. Grant under center. Waits patiently and hands the ball off to the sophomore running back into the end zone. Touchdown, Jackson Vernon. The wing T formation. Grant under center. The Vernon Waits offensive line is just blowing hands Perryton the off the line off of scrimmage. To the they're not, they're not, running the backs back are not receiving any contact zone. from the defenders Touchdown. until one or two yards past the line of scrimmage. We're just not getting it done in the trenches. Brent McCallan takes it in from four yards out for the Lions, and they now lead 20 to three here, approaching the midway point of the fourth quarter. And the PAT is up, and it's good. Vernon 21, Perryton 3 on the radio tonight with 8.24 left in the ball game. Back in one minute on 98.3 KXDJ. And Allred will come up and now go to the wristband and call the play. Fakes the handoff. Throws the pass. It's caught. Ottinger has a first down and more to midfield inside of Vernon territory to the 49. Nice, and grab. And nice grab there by Ottinger. That ball was Fakes the hand a little bit high and off. behind him. He's had to spin it's all the way caught. around. To reel Ottinger that one in. has a first down and more Seven to midfield. 1 left in the ball game. Perryton down 21-3, down by 18. They've got to score 
three times somehow before the end of the ball game to keep themselves in this third position of district play. Pass is intercepted. Right in the middle linebacker spot, the middle linebacker jumps up and pulls it down. The not, three not scores, you. not tonight. It would be a, a very optimistic. Villa Lobos makes that decision much more valid as he carries tonight. it in from four yards out. Touchdown, it Vernon. Would be a, and you got to tip your hat sometimes, very Brad. And the running game, Villa the offensive Lobos. push, the, the sophomore makes running back in the Cowlins combined with Jordan Villa Lobos, the much. junior, very fast. And uh, they've picked the holes tonight and got the blocking to set it up. And uh, it's it's an it's an unfortunate cause here from being the uh, the broadcast crew from the from the red team tonight. But Vernon got her done tonight with the running game. Kickoff. The kick is up, and it's good. 2:01 left to go in the ball game. Vernon extends and now leads 28 to three on the radio tonight on 98.3 KXDJ. Uh, they uh, they met their match here tonight. We'll get to those seniors after this fourth down play all red back in the pocket. He's got running room and will have the first down up to the 30, 25, and slides to the 21. Brad, senior. Kickoff at 7 o'clock. It'll be a big ball game. Need a lot of support in Dalhart. Could be big playoff implications next week after things shake loose here on uh, week Number nine, week 10, actually, the ninth game on the schedule for the Rangers. Somerville puts a shoulder Shake and a helmet here into the belly of the uh, defender that time, and Caden Somerville with a nice run. Number just nine. Just not much of that here tonight. Week 10, yeah, just actually. Number 13 back about three or four Rangers. yards when he hit Somerville him. puts Great. a shoulder. Red five. with the ball on the right side, hash mark, and a new set of downs, but a short clock. Looking in the center, trying to get one into the end zone. Flushed, scrambled, those to the back of the end zone. Colton Juarez pulls it in. Touchdown, the the right side Rangers. Hash mark and a new set of downs. What a, a what a great clock. touchdown for the senior in the on center, senior night. trying yeah. to get one into the end they zone. That. Yeah, he's, he's a he's a scrambled. He's a small stature kid, to the but the back of the plays end zone. just incredibly hard. Five ten, one seventy nine. Colton Juarez. And, uh, he just really has done a good job all year. Seven seconds left on the clock, so they got in right before the end of the game, and that's going to be a big touchdown and something to build on for next week. The kick is up, and it's good. Seven seconds left in the ball game. Vernon leads it 28-10. to 10. We're back in one minute on 98.3 KXDJ. Vernon wins tonight on senior night and the last night for the home schedule. Vernon takes the victory 28 to 10. We'll come back and wrap things up right here on the radio on 98.3 KXDJ.